Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the inner boot clamp on your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the rear screws, securing the top panel. Slide the top panel back and lift up to detach. Pull the detergent dispenser drawer out and depress the tab to release it. Use a T20 Torx bit to unthread the screws in the dispenser housing. Unthread the control panel housing mounting screws. Lift up the tabs to detach the housing. Now open the washer door and use needle nose pliers to remove the outer clamps securing the door boot seal. Pull the seal off the lip of the front panel. Using a T20 Torx bit, Unthread the screws securing the door latch to the front panel. Now lift up the front of the washer and support it. Then use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to remove the four lower mounting screws securing the front panel. Remove the support and lower the appliance. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the three upper mounting screws. You can now lift the front panel up to detach it from the cabinet. Remove the detergent dispenser hose from the door boot seal. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the old inner boot clamp, if still intact, and remove it. Before you install the new inner boot clamp, confirm that the boot seal is fully aligned on the outer lip of the tub. Now position the new boot clamp in the groove on the seal. Tighten the clamp to secure. Make sure the boot seal is aligned on the inner lip of the tub. Secure the dispenser hose in the seal. Reposition the front panel on the cabinet. Replace the upper screws. Support the front of the washer to replace the lower screws. Reposition the door latch on the front panel and secure it with the screws. Realign the door boot seal on the lip of the front panel. Replace the outer boot clamp. Securing the clamp near the top will make this easier.
Reinsert the control panel housing tabs into the slots in the front panel and snap the housing into place. Rethread the mounting screws on top. Replace the dispenser housing screws. Slide the dispenser drawer into the housing. Realign the top panel and slide it into position. Secure the screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.